Okay, so uh, my name is Mama Ashafi Izzat bin Ismail and my metric number is A18 B1167. So uh, I will present about uh, the financial management and our title task is uh, uh, United Plantation Berhad and Genting Plantation Berhad. So uh, financial management is a managerial activity concerned uh, with planning and controlling of the firm's financial resources to generate returns on invested funds. However, financial analysis is used to evaluate business uh, budgets and long-term plans for business activity and determine companies' for performance. A financial analysis examines truth a company's financial statement, which is income statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements. So uh, our group discusses to choose a plantation company in the primary sector which is United Plantation Berhad and Gentian Plantation Berhad. So uh, we collected, collected the data from main market of public list company in Bursa Malaysia website. The annual report for um, financial year for both company data is ended December 2017, 2018 and 2019. The method to analyze financial data is using 40 financial ratios to calculate all the ratios from the data in the financial segment and perform 3 years trend analysis using horizontal and vertical analysis. Uh, the horizontal analysis is used to review a company's financial statement and compare the ratios year by year to determine a company either is growing or declining. Uh, identify the company's problem and give suggestions to make their companies improve. Whereas the vertical analysis is showing the relative um, proportion proportions of account balance with compare the ratios for both companies from year to year. By doing this assignment, we enable to learn about how to measure the profitability, to analyze financial strength, you know the efficiency of management, and the trends. Of, bis of business of a company or our business. It also help us understand more about this topic in subject financial. Okay, so I think that all for me. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Rafi bin Muhammad Razali. Uh, my metric number A18B0379. Uh, today I want to uh, present about business nature. Okay, uh, company United Plantation Berhad Founded on Danish and Nation expertise uh, and resources, United Plantation Berhad, from a modest beginning in 1906, has over the years grown in size and stature. Today, United Plantation Berhad is one of the larger medium-sized plantation group in Malaysia and is listed on the main market of Bursa Malaysia. Uh, United Plantation Berhad core business activities are focused on responsible cultiva cultivation of oil palm and coconuts. Uh, United Plantation Berhad process considerable, cons considerable know-how in plant breeding, agronomy and tissue culture through its R&D facilities established in the early 1950s. The group, in, uh, the group is also Engage in several downstream, downstream activities such as edible oil refining as well as producing and packaging of specialty fat based on certified sustainable palm oil and a strong emphasis on high quality and food safety standard. Uh, for Genting Plantations Berhad, commons, uh, commons operation in 1980 and its principal business is in oil palm plantations. As of 30, 31st December 2019, our group has a land bank of approximately 242,800 hectares, where about 64,600 hectares are located in Malaysia and some 178,200 hectares in Indonesia. Genting Plantation Berhad has also diversified into a property development, biotechnology, and the manufacturing of downstream palm-based products. Uh, our group is focused on delivering value enhancement and better returns to our shareholders. 
for our mainstay plantation division, our group continuously explores opportunities to expand through value, a creative investment for future growth while progressively planting up area in our existing land bank. At the same time, we strive to manage costs and yield improvement through better agronomy, practice innovative technology and operational efficiency. The current ratio for United Plantation Brahout was increased from 7.3 in year 2017 to 7.53 in year 2018 and dropped to 6.26 in year 2019. Okay, the quick ratio for United Plantation Brahout was 6.59 in year 2017 and rise to 6.79 in year 2018, but the quick ratio was declined to 5.59. 0.47 in year 2019. Okay, in these three years, United Plantation Brahat show a positive networking capital. In show that the networking capital was increased from RN 1 million seat 34 seat 98 in year 2017 to RN 1 million 702 seat 38 in year 2018. But it has deadline to RN 1 million 014 five zero in year 2019 okay the inventory tower was slightly increased from 8.16 in year 2017 to 11.1 .1 in year 2018 and increased to 12.09 in year 2019 okay the average collection period for the united plantation brahat has increased from 165 day in year 2017 to 100 day in year 2018 and decreased to 189 days in year 2019 okay the account receivable turnover for the united plantation perhaps have been decreased from 2.17 in year 2017 to 1.74 in year 2018 and decreased increase to 1.9 in year 2019 okay the free asset turnover in year 2017 is 2.28 and increase to 0.43 in year 2018 however the free asset turnover has declined from 2.43 in year 2018 to 1.20 in year 2019 okay the total asset turnover in year 2017 is 0.41 and decrease to 0.39 in year 2018 the total asset turnover have dropped again from 0.39 in year 2018 to 0.35 in year 2019 Okay, the debt ratio in year 2017 is 10.58% and decrease to 947 in year percent in year 2018. Okay, but the debt ratio have bounced back from 9.47% in year 2018 to 10.70 in year 2019. Okay, the debt the equity in year 2017 is 11.83% and have a major deadline to 10.45% in year 2018. However, the debt ratio have mirror increase from 10.45% in year 2018 to 11.98% in year 2019. Okay, the gross profit margin in year 2017 is 39%. 0.45% and shook up to 75.96% in year 2018. Sadly, the gross profit margin have dramatically dropped from 75.96% in year 2018 to 22.66% 20, in year 2019. Okay, in year 2017, the percent of net Profit margin for United Plantation Brahat is 32.82% and increased to 34.33% in year 2018. 
However, the net profit margin have major decrease from 34.3% in year 2018 to 28.9% in year 2019. Okay, the return as uh, the return on asset is increased significantly from 13.43% in year 2017 to 13.54% in year 2018. However, the ratio dropped rapidly in year 2019, which is 10.05%, probably due the company does not in good condition to manage their operation. Okay, return on equity is decreased slightly from 27% in year 2017 to 20% in year 2018. Unfortunately, the ratio declined sharply to 20% in year 2019 as compared to year 2018 which is 25% probably due the company failed to generate based on the shareholder investment to the company. My name is Yo Kuan Chan and my number method is A18A0126. Now I want to present about horizontal analysis for the company of Genting Foundation Berhad. Firstly, the current ratio for Genting Foundation Berhad was decreased from 58.664 in the year. 2017 to 5.605 in the year 2018 and increased to 5.686 in the year 2019. Secondly, the great ratio for the, this company was decreased from 5.861 in year 2017 to 5.5 Six in year 2018 and increased to 5.673 in the year 2019. Next, company net working capital was decreased from RM2537819 in year in the year 2017 to RM8874606 in the year 2018 and increased to RM128561 in the year 2019 and 19. After that, the net profit margin was increased from 83.4% in year 2017 to 18.2% in the year 2018 and increased to 42.3% in the year 2019. Besides the return on the equity for this company was decreased from 12.5% in the year 2017 to 1.3% in the year 2018 and increased to 1.8% in year 2019. And then the return on asset for this company was increased from 9.2% in year in the year 2017 to 10% in year 2018 and increased to 5 15% in the year 2019 and 19. After that, the operating operating Profit margin was decreased from the 19.5% in the year 2017 to 34.5% in the year 
2018 and increased to 62% in the year 2019. Next, the total asset turnover was decreased from 0 0.12 in the year 2017 to 0.057 in the year 2018 and increased to 0.035 in the year 2019 and then the account receivable receivable turnover ratio was decreased from 128.97 in the year 2017 to 6.074 in the year 2018 and inc decreased to 4.2 seven in the year 2019 next the fixed asset turn over was decreased from the 0 0.02 0 0.2 in the year 2017 to 0 0.068 in the year 2018 and 18 and it decreased to 0.045 in the year 2019. Besides, the average correction value was increased from 2.83 days in the year 2017 to 5.97 days in the year 2018 and increased to 85.49 day in the year 2019 and then the debit values ratio was decreased from the 26.6 percent in the year 2017 to 20.2 percent in the year 200 and 18 and decreased to 19.2 percent in the year 219. Next, the debit to equity ratio was decreased from 36.3 percent in the year 2017 to 25.4 percent in the year 218 and in decreased to. 23.8% in the year 2019. Lastly, the equity multiples was decreased from 1.363 in the year 200, uh, 2017 to 1.254 in the year 218 and increased to 1.23 in year in the year 2019 now i'm talking about the vertical analysis for current ratio the performance for united plantation berhad in current ratio is more consistency compared to gunting plantation berhad for quick ratio the performance for managing correlation in Gunting Plantation Berhad is unstable compared with United Plantation Berhad. For, ne not <coughs> for networking capital, the networking capital in United Plantation Berhad was in consistency as the networking capital. However, the networking capital in Gunting Plantation Berhad was way more than United Plantation Berhad. For inventory turnover, the effectiveness of using inventory to generate sales in the shortest time in United Plantation was better than Gunting Plantation Berhad. For average correction period, the average correction period for both companies are improving. 
The Kenting Plantation Berhad is more in effective in collecting debt than United Plantation Berhad. For account receivable turnover, the ability of Gandhi Plantation Berhad to correct its receivable efficiency is greater than United Plantation Berhad. For fixed asset turnover, the ability in using fixed asset to generate sales in Gandhi Plantation Berhad was unstable in using fixed asset to generate sales as the fixed asset turnover. For total asset turnover, the ability in using the total asset to generate sales in Gandhi Plantation Berhad was inconsistent in using the resource in company to generate sales. For debt ratio, United Plantation Berhad and Gandhi Plantation Berhad were taking less risk of business activity as the debt ratio in both company in year 2017 to year 2019. But the debt ratio in United Plantation Berhad was less than Genting Plantation Berhad in year 2017 to year, to year 2019. For debt to equity, the debt to equity of United Plantation Berhad is better than Genting Plantation Berhad because Genting Plantation Berhad has a lower debt equity than Genting Plantation Berhad. For gross profit margin, the performance in getting gross profit in both companies was unstable though as the gross profit margin can be increased. The performance in getting gross profit in United Partition was worse than getting partition behind as the gross profit margin to continue to descend. For net profit margin, the performance of United Plantation Berhad was stable than Gunding Plantation Berhad in net profit margin from year 2017 to year 2019. But the net profit margin in Gunding Plantation Berhad was slightly better than United Plantation Berhad. For return on asset, in conclusion, both companies saw inconsistency in the return on asset as the performance in fund investment was unstable from year 2017 to year 2019. However, the return on assets for United Plantation Berhad was better than Genting Plantation Berhad from year 2017 to year 2019. For return of equity, <coughs> both companies saw inconsistency in return on equity from year 2017 to year 2019. But the return on equity in United Plantation Berhad is better than Gunting Plantation Berhad from year 2017 to year 2019.